Sophie Global has recently published a study on computer companies who are currently confronted with numerous challenges. The personal computer industry is witnessing significant headwinds and players must face the realities of market maturity. Global shipments have been on a slippery slide downwards since 2011, decreasing at an average of 6.7% per year over the last five years. Global sales are being pulled down by three major factors. Firstly, despite a growing trend to have several PCs in a household, computers seem to have reached a point of saturation on developed markets, only leaving room for replacement sales. Secondly, sales are further dented by substitution, with severe competition from tablets and smartphones, which now offer very similar features to PCs and have thus moved into their territory. Thirdly, the economic slowdown on developing markets and the fact that such markets often leapfrog personal computers to move directly to smartphone or tablet purchases means developing markets offer little comfort. Indeed, the share of emerging market sales is decreasing. While in 2013 they accounted for 57.7% of sales, by 2015 this had dropped to 53.3%, demonstrating that the slowdown in emerging markets has been even more pronounced than the drop in mature market sales. There is a glimmer of hope nonetheless in terms of substitutes. Tablet sales have increased considerably over the last few years, but slipped in 2015 and did not overtake PC sales as previously forecast. It is now considered possible that consumers turn their priority back to PC renewal over coming years. It seems that desktops and laptops still do have a place in the new ecosystem and do not risk extinction, but may be destined for a more limited role as a content creation device, which particularly come into their own in business environments. Due to the currently lackluster environment, profit margins are low. Players with high exposure to PC sales have margins ranging from poor to abysmal, and none exceeds 5%. As a result, companies such as Sony or Samsung have left the market while Toshiba has decided to downsize or pull out of B2C activities in most markets, and HP considered retreat before deciding to rather split the business. Market exit means the industry is thus becoming increasingly consolidated. While in 2013, the top five players were responsible for 59.3% of sales, this increased to 66.1% in 2015. Those who have decided to stay in the game are following several strategic approaches. On the demand side, price leadership is a major battlefield in a commoditized market, with prices being lowered to undercut rivals and ensure volume growth. At the same time, however, Premiumization to benefit from the higher margins of the top of the range market is also a focus as is entry into the gaming market. Groups are also diversifying their business to enter into products and services such as mobile phones, tablets, smart TVs, storage, big data, cloud computing and software. On the supply side, cost containment is seen with relocation of production to low cost areas, outsourcing, restructuring and a reduction of complexity in supply chains and logistics. Partnerships are also used in areas such as manufacturing and research and development to share costs. And finally, full or partial market exit is not unusual in the business.